so here's our fuse box. This is the main electrical firewall entrance for all of the stock stuff, all of the factory stuff. And uh, did a lot of research on the, the internet there, and I tried the whole poke a hole thing, but it's a, it is a, a double. It's a double grommet. There's a there's one there, and then there's one uh, on the inside, and there is pretty much every single important wire that goes inside the car in this bundle. So here's my problem. I want to get this thick wire through, right? I got three gauges that are going to have what three wires each coming back through the firewall. I'm going to have wire uh, for a um, amp. So I just don't feel very confident in shoving all that stuff there. But I noticed, look at this, behind here is a little bit of foam, and behind the foam, sorry my hand's in the way, is, is this sheet metal. And I, I tapped a little pop on the other side to make sure that it was indeed the same thing. And in between my fingers there, you can see where I popped a tap right there. So, look at that, that is a present right there because that's where I'm gonna go through the firewall. It's been about an hour since the last video and I'm not gonna lie to you, that was not easy. So that little bolt sticking out is the, is the hoses, hoses attachment place and I, I just yanked it out of the way. Uh, because I needed to X marks the spot for my uh, hole. So that is where I went through. And uh, just to give you some perspective, there's, this, there's the stock placement. So if you go about two inches over to the left and two inches up uh, from the center point of that one, you'll see where I went in uh, right there. And then I put that big ass grommet on there. So, back inside, you can see where the grommet is placed right behind the, uh, uh, that little thing. What I'm gonna do at this point, I'm finally at a point where I've got all my wires. Okay, this is four gauge. I gotta shove that through. I gotta shove that through, and then all my gauge stuff. Uh, I gotta see whether that's gonna be enough room or whether I'm gonna have to poke another hole into this beast. So I'm gonna start with the fattest of the fat, and uh, that is going to be my four gauge amplifier power wire. So here we go. All right, anytime you're doing anything major on your car, uh, especially with electrical, especially with electrical, um, disconnect the negative terminal from your battery. So here's where we're at so far. That is just for the amp and that LED. All right, so here we are on the inside. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is hit it with another hole above it, another hole time. All right, I've kind of marked where I want my second hole to be, directly above the other one. But I can't get a punch in there to save my life uh, and hit it with a hammer. And this is critical that, that this drill hole starts in the right place, because if the drill wanders and it puts a hole somewhere else, and that's just not going to do me any good. And I've been trying for probably 15 minutes to try to get a... If I put a long... I just can't get anything in there. So this box is coming off. It seems to be... Um, oh, three... Uh, 10 millimeter nuts. So I'm going to try to take this box completely off, get it out of my way, disconnect it where I need to, and give myself more clean access to where I need to, uh, to do it. Because I, I really want to get this right. All right, so in order to get this connection off, I just, there it is. All right, let's see how easy or hard this ends up being. Come on, Come on baby. All right. And we're not being hung up on anything right there. That dirty sucker. All right. All right, so now I should have... I mean, you know what about this guy? Get this out of here. I could probably pull him loose right here. Wrap him around there. And now, 
hopefully enough access to uh, hit it with a punch and uh, and get a clean drill on it and put the hole right where I want it. There's where I hit it. Right there. I decided, based on coming back and forth and back and forth a couple times, that I was going to move the location of my hole. I think that that represents pretty much directly over the other sucker. Right up there is what I was shooting for. So when we go back around the other side, you'll see that I didn't use my original spot. Would have been too far over. So now that I've got my dimple, I'm going to hit it with a 1 16th and just try to poke a hole through. All right, hole number one. Happened in the punch point, exactly where I wanted it. And the smart thing to do would be to come around here and see if we're happy where it landed. And I am happy where it landed, right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda step up, step up, step up through the drill bits uh, so that I make sure it's nice and clean and exactly where I want it without any issues. 330 seconds, 1 eighth. 5 30 seconds 3 sixteenths 13 60 fourths so keep keep on it that was 15 60 fourths 1 fourth 5 sixteenths there's 3 eighths there's 1 half 1 half 5 eighths that is the ugliest looking three-fourths I've ever seen in my life, but it's done, right? Yes, sir. Woo! Nelly. All right, here's my old pull the grommet through the firewall with a string trick. What you do is get a piece of string. Uh, fishing line is even better, but I don't have any fishing line. Like so. All right, here's that. And take your grommet, fish the line through the hole. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the other side. and everywhere but where the rope is. So there we are, we got our two, two holes down. Now I can feel comfortable threading stuff through. So there is the four gauge for the amplifier. All right, so in addition to big red wire, for the amp and the black wire for the switch for the big LED light bar on the front. In addition to those, I'm going to be running three gauges. I'm going to be running trans temp, well temp, and vacuum. So from these gauges, I got to get these wires through there too. So there's going to be that one's for oil temp, that one's for trans temp, and that one's for vacuum. So all three of those guys have got to go through my freshly grommeted holes. All right, I allocated as follows. I sent the vacuum through with the big power gauge and I sent everything else through the other hole. So I've made use of both holes and those are the five things that I wanted to put through the firewall. Five? Yeah, three gauges and two other things. And I still got a little bit of room uh, in the top one if I need to run 
something else in the future. All right, so now that the wires are all coming through the firewall, I got me a hot glue gun. And to the best of my ability, I'm gonna start gluing. I actually started uh, some of this firewall insulation back on. There's a piece, there's a piece. And there was the piece that I just completed. So I got a good bit of it back on there. And now it's time to move on. The glue's dried. And now it's time to put the box back where she belongs. So that's just three 10 millimeters on those three guys right there. is in place. I still got to connect it. And uh, a couple mm, gauges. Those are for the gauges. I got to figure out how much wire I'm going to need for those. And figure out what to do next.